Welcome to Tegomatics. In this video, we are learning Polygon, another interesting section of geometry. If you are yet to watch my video on angles and types, problems involving complementary angles and supplementary angles, you need to do that. And if you are yet to subscribe to any of my videos, in order for you to get more, you need to subscribe now. Turn on the notification button, share your comment, and like my videos. What is a polygon? A polygon is any closed figure bounded by at least three straight lines in the same plane. In other words, if we have a shape that is closed and is bounded by three straight lines minimum, it means that it is a polygon. For example, we have a triangle. A triangle has three straight lines forming a single shape so that is a polygon there are more examples of polygon like quadrilateral quadrilateral has four straight lines coming together to form what to form a shape so that is another word polygon in subsequent uh, explanation we'll get other examples of polygon but never forget this that polygons must contain minimum three straight lines but it could be more than three it could be four five six seven and so on from the definition of a polygon we can deduce the properties of a polygon so if we isolate the properties from the definition you will be able to identify what a polygon is and what a polygon is not because I'll be displaying different shapes now and we'll be explaining whether it's a polygon or it's not a polygon. One of the first property we are looking at here is that a polygon is a closed figure. A polygon is a closed figure. If we have a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral has four sides. There are different kinds of quadrilateral. A quadrilateral could be a square, a quadrilateral could be a rectangle, a quadrilateral could be a parallelogram, it could be a rhombus, and so on. So when we have a quadrilateral, we see that a quadrilateral has four lines. And if you are within the lines that are closed, you notice you can't move out of the line because the boundaries are what are closed. So one of the property of a polygon is that a polygon has a closed figure. This is another shape that is being displayed. If you view the shape very well, you realize that there is a part in the shape that is open. So the shape is not completely closed. Remember, one of the property of a polygon is that what? the shape is a closed figure so one of the vertices of this shape is not closed so it is not a polygon the second property of a polygon we are deducing from this definition is that a polygon has all its line straight the lines of polygon are straight i'm still going to use the quadrilateral as an example if you look at all the lines of the quadrilateral being displayed all the lines are straight all the edges they are what they are straight but if you look at this second shape that is being displayed yeah the lines are straight but there's a part of the line that is curved there's a part of the line that is curved so because we are having a curved part it shows that what it is not a polygon though the shape is closed some of the lines are straight but because a part of the line is curved then it is not a polygon because all lines of polygon must be straight another example of something that is not a polygon or let me say a shape that is not a polygon is a circle if you look at a circle you discover that no part of a circle is straight every part of a circle is what is curved so a circle is not a polygon the last property of a polygon we are considering is that the lines of a polygon lie on the same plane. All the lines, you can find them on the same plane. Let's use a quadrilateral again. If you look at a quadrilateral, all the lines of the quadrilateral they lie on a plane. A quadrilateral is a 2D shape. In other words, all polygons are 2D shapes. But 
if the lines aren't lying on the same plane like that of a cuboid if you have a cuboid for instance the lines of a cuboid some of them lies behind the other another one is a cube the lines they lie behind another what another line like prison prison is another one uh maybe a pyramid a pyramid is another one the lines the lie behind another line so they are not polygon because the three properties of a polygon is they must be close a polygon the lines must lie on the same plane and all the lines must be straight never forget that a polygon must be a close figure all the lines must be straight and all the lines must lie on the same plane in other words a polygon must be two-dimensional and not three-dimensional now let's quickly have a review of what we've been learning I will pop out six different shapes you are going to identify which of the shape is a polygon and which is not a polygon if you got that right that's brilliant now let's move to examples of polygon there are different examples of polygon if a polygon is having just three sides it's a triangle if the side is four it's a quadrilateral if it's five it's a pentagon six is hexagon seven is heptagon eight is octagon nine is nonagon and ten is decagon 11 is on decagon and 12 is do decagon now we can have more than 12 we have 13 14 15 16 3900 as many as possible our next focus is types of polygon there are different types of polygon one we have a regular polygon two irregular polygon three a concave polygon four a convex polygon five a simple polygon and six we have a complex polygon in my explanation i will be comparing the types of polygon let's start with regular and irregular polygon irregular polygon irregular polygon has all angles equal and all sides equal an irregular polygon is the opposite of a regular polygon what it means is that all the sides are not equal as such all the angles are not equal now if we have a triangle this is a very good example of a triangle but this triangle is an equilateral triangle all the sides are equal this side is equal to this side which is also equal to this side that's what makes it a regular polygon this angle here is equal to this very angle which is equal to this very angle i'll give you another kind of triangle let's look at this this is another type of triangle all the sides of this triangle are not equal so we can say that because if you look at it this side is not equal to this which is not equal to this so we could say that this is a regular polygon why this one is irregular polygon there are other examples let me give you a pentagon a pentagon this is a regular pentagon why is it a regular pentagon this side is equal to this side which is equal to this side equal to this side and equal to this side so as long as the sides are the same the angles within it will also be the same so it is a regular pentagon there's another kind of pentagon let's say we have this this is another pentagon what makes it a pentagon it has five sides and it's close all the sides of this pentagon are not equal so this is an irregular pentagon 
why this one is a regular pentagon so irrespective of the polygon we're talking about as long as all the sides are equal and the angles are equal it is regular but if all the sides and the angles are not equal it is irregular the next polygon we are comparing is a convex polygon and a concave polygon what is the striking difference between these two a convex polygon has no angle pointing inward i'll repeat a convex polygon has no angle pointing inward more precisely no internal angle can be more than 180 degree i'll give you a diagram to explain this if any of the internal angle is more than 180 degree then it is a concave polygon like in the previous example i gave a, a regular pentagon i gave a regular pentagon we said this is a regular pentagon if you look at the pentagon all the angles no one is pointing inward okay let me let me just draw this look at this this is another kind of pentagon this is another kind of pentagon why is it a pentagon it has five straight lines and all the lines are closed but one of the angle is pointing inward so this very angle that is pointing inward if you look at it it's a reflex so it's greater than 180 degree so when one of the angle is pointing inward automatically we are going to have an angle that is greater than 180 degree that makes it a concave polygon so this very one is a convex polygon because none of the angle is up to 180 degree because no angle is pointing inward so we say this is convex why this is concave now you must understand that a convex polygon and a concave polygon could be regular or irregular but the striking difference is that for a concave one of the angle or more is pointing inward but for a convex none of the angle is pointing inward and in a concave one or more of the angle is greater than 180 degree while for the convex it is less i hope you understand this all right the next type of polygon we are comparing is a simple polygon and a complex polygon a simple polygon and a complex polygon a simple polygon has only one boundary and it doesn't cross over itself i'll repeat that a simple polygon has only one boundary and it doesn't cross over itself but a complex polygon intersects itself that means it crosses over itself um, the previous example i've been given like a regular polygon even the concave and convex polygon that i gave they are examples of simple polygon now we could call this um, a simple polygon this is a simple polygon it doesn't mean whether it is regular or irregular as long as the lines does not cross itself the lines does not cross over itself so it is what a simple polygon but let's check out something like this this is another kind of polygon let's check it out this is a polygon all the lines are straight the polygon is closed but if you observe you discover that the line intersects at this what at this region so as long as the line intersects it means that it is a complex polygon the thing is most time the rules of polygon doesn't really apply to a complex polygon but you just need to understand it that a complex polygon has its line intersecting itself but a simple polygon does not in my next episode i'll be teaching you the interior and exterior angle of a polygon in other words we're going to solve some problems under polygon 
and if you understand this very video that you just watched i'd like you to pause it and solve the following questions thank you for watching this video i hope you've learned something share your comments with me like the video and don't forget to subscribe